Hi, I'm Liz Nedden. Let's have a look at some examples of converting between fraction and decimals. So in this example, I've got something written in words, so two tenths. So as a fraction, I'm dividing by tenths, and I've got two lots of tenths. If I wanted to write that as a decimal, what I need to remember is that when I'm dividing by 10, that's in my t first value after the decimal point. So that first digit after the decimal is my tenths column, so I'm going to write that as 0 0.2. If I had 0 0.9 as a decimal, and I want to convert that into a fraction, so I've got to remember this is my first digit after the decimal, so this is in the tenths column. So that means when I write this a fraction, I'm dividing by 10, and I'm going to have 9 over 10. If I had a decimal with two decimal places, so 0 0.48, then that 8 is in my hundredths column. So that means I would do this as 48 divided by 100. So you've just got to look at whatever the last digit, which column is that in, and that's what you're dividing by. So if I have this example here, I've got 532 divided by 1000. I want to turn that into a decimal. So in terms of my decimals, if I have three digits, my first one is in the tenths, the next one is in the hundredths, and the third one is in the thousandths. So that now gives me a decimal in thousandths and that's going to be 532 thousandths, or 0 0.532. If I have whole numbers, I'm going to keep continue with the pattern. I've got four whole, so I'm going to start with the four whole, put my decimal point, and now I've got 32 over 100, so I want to have two digits to get to my tenths and hundredths, and I've got 32 hundredths, so it'll be 4.32. What if I've got this one that's a little bit nastier? I've got 5 eighths. So I don't have a divisor of 10 or 100 or a nice multiple of 10 anymore. So this is when I need to do a bit of either short or long division. So what I'm going to do is I need to ask myself, how many times does 8 go into 5? Now I can put my decimal point there and I'm going to put as many zeros as I might need. They're all just placeholder zeros, I'm not changing the number, I'm just writing down a few more digits. And so now I'm going to start and say, how many times does 8 go into 5? Can't do that. So I'm going to take my first two digits. How many times does 8 go into 50? And I know that 8 times 6 is 48, so that would give me a remainder of 2. Now I'm going to ask myself, how many times does 8 go into 20? And 8 goes into 20 twice, and that 8 times 2 is 16, so that gives me a remainder of 4. Now I'm going to do the next one, say how many times does 8 go into 40? And 8 goes into 40 five times, and no remainder. So that means I'm finished. And I just need to put the decimal point. You'll notice that I've put these values carefully above the right place. And that answer there is going to be 0 0.625.